Uh, today, I'm pleased to bring forward uh, our county initiative to create an Office of Labor Standards and Enforcement. Uh, this was a proposal I announced at our state of the county. And since that time, we've been convening community partners and stakeholders to determine uh, what is most needed to help protect workers in San Diego County. I want to particularly thank those stakeholders for working with our office and lending their support today on this critical issue, uh, including the Invest in San Diego Families Coalition, the Center for Policy Initiatives, the Employee Rights Center, the Maintenance Corporation Trust Fund, the San Diego Building Trade, San Diego and Imperial County Labor Councils, the Associated General Contractors who supported this item, I appreciate, and many others. The COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I believe, has highlighted the need for a robust worker protections for essential workers. Uh, during the pandemic, these workers kept showing up, putting themselves at risk to keep our economy going. And while COVID-19 has brought worker issues to the forefront, these issues are not new. Uh, in a study by the Economic Policy Institute that was undertaken before the pandemic, an estimated $2 billion was stolen each year from California workers for minimum wage violations alone. A separate study undertaken by San Diego's Center for Policy Initiatives that interviewed 2,600 hourly workers found that 64% of those workers either did not receive any sick days, received fewer than legally required, or faced retaliation when using them. Uh, these are reflective of broader conditions uh, and an indication we must more to do more to protect workers. Uh, while laws regulating workplaces are a mix of federal, state, and local requirements, the Office of Labor Standards and Enforcement can provide a central location for both workers and businesses alike to get access to information and resources uh, in order to navigate these systems. Specifically, this proposal directs the Chief Administrative Officer to return to the board in 120 days and report back on the creation of an office that would serve the following functions, providing central information source for workers and business, engaging business and community partners in education and outreach, acting as an expert on regional issues related to workers, providing the Board of Supervisors with policy recommendations out of this area, exploring the creation of a workplace justice fund that can provide resources to workers seeking justice who need assistance, facilitating complaints related to county contracts, and determining what enforcement mechanisms could be put in place uh, to help protect workers. Uh, I also want to thank our District Attorney, Summer Stephan. She has taken uh, considerable forward progress on these issues and creating a workplace justice initiative, establishing a unit within her office to pursue crimes like wage theft and labor trafficking. Uh, not all worker issues rise to the level of necessitating criminal prosecution, uh, but we see this new office as working in partnership uh, with our district attorney uh, to ensure that our workers uh, are treated fairly and have access uh, to help and assistance and the legal uh, options if necessary. It's imperative that workers be treated fairly and that employers follow state, federal, and local rules related to the workplace. The county, through the Office of Labor Standards and Enforcement, can both provide this central location to help education and resources and can play a role in helping better enforcement uh, and rules within the county's jurisdiction. Uh, and I would make a motion uh, to approve the recommendations in agenda item 23.